Hey everybody, uh, today we're gonna have a little, <laughs> today class, we're going to have a little tutorial, no, just kidding, um, about, uh, recording voices and also a couple useful tools that you have in Audacity to help record good voices. Uh, first off, if you're looking for a decent microphone, if you have the game Rock Band, I would suggest checking the mic that came with that game. Because it is, in fact, the mic that I am using right now. It's actually surprisingly good. So if you have it, I would check it out. Um, I, I don't have Guitar Hero, but I would assume it's probably similar quality. I don't know, you just, you just have to try it. Alright, so first off, if you haven't already, obviously you need to download Audacity. Uh, it's a free program. I'll have a link in the sidebar for it. So open it up. And then record your voice. This is me, recording my voice. So when you're recording your voice, make sure you're not speaking directly into the microphone or else you're going to get that awful <laughs> sound from your breath hitting the mic and it sounds really bad. So we'll try to avoid that. Also, when you're recording voices, don't be shy. Like, for example, if you have a scene where you have a character that says you killed my father and you want him to yell it really loudly, or you're supposed to, you can't, a lot of people will kind of whisper shout, they'll be like, you killed my father. It's not convincing at all. If you're gonna do that, you really have to get into it. Like, you killed my father! Or something like that, that wasn't very good, but you get the idea, you can't be shy about it. I know it can be kind of slightly embarrassing if your family's around, and you're like screaming like a lunatic and stuff but that's the price you have to pay for good voice acting so the next thing you want to do is highlight your track by clicking here and that'll highlight it and then go to effects and amplify so you can get your clip to a decent volume click and there you go uh, the problem with this now is if you play it back now this is me, recording my voice. You notice it's got that fuzziness which sounds really bad. And this is the reason why, if you noticed, after I finished talking in my recording, I let it play for a few seconds so I could get the noise profile. So what you have to do is highlight some noise, then go to effects, noise removal, get noise profile. And basically what that does is it just gets gets the noise profile, idiot. Then once you've done that, uh, re-highlight the whole track, then go back to noise removal, and then you want to get it too far to the left as you can, because the more you go to the right, it's going to make your uh, recording sound all distorted. Like It makes it sound like you're speaking into a tube, which doesn't sound good. So the farther you can get it to the left, the better. So just try it, uh, do the preview. This is me, recording my vo- They'll give you a little preview. Sounds pretty good, so I'll just remove the noise. Play it back to see how it sounds. This is me, recording my voice. Not bad. And then, once you're done that, all you have to do, file, export as wave. And call it whatever you want. Yay! Save it wherever you want, desktop is handy. And that's basically my recording process. Um, so I guess the one other thing I wanted to show you guys, because people ask me all the time, is how I do the the Stormtrooper voice, with the helmety sound, like in Gunship Down. And you do that in Audacity as well. So again, you just have to highlight, effect, and the effect you want this time is equalization. And you drag the line down, and then go to 1000 megahertz, and you basically click to kind of draw this hill down to 10,000 hertz and you may have to just kind of experiment a little bit but that's the basic shape that it needs to be like that hit preview to see see how it sounds this is me recording my voice sounds pretty decent so yeah that's basically all I have for you guys today um and Play around with the pro the program Audacity a little bit. It's a great program. It's got 
other effects it has like pitch changer are good for if you if you're like the only voice actor you can change the pitch to make it sound different and also changing pitches i find useful for doing sound effects if you find a sound effect that is close to what you want but not quite there sometimes if you change the pitch it really makes a difference in getting the sound that you want so yeah it's just experiment a little bit and yeah have fun recording those voices see you later